Hi guys, Kotyutar here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we concluded by saying that to get the new list view, we have to implement a custom adapter. For that, Android provides a API called as base adapter. The basic concept of how this base adapter works is you create a custom layout for the row items in the list view and then you extend the base adapter, which is basically you override methods as a part of implementing that base adapter class. Then as a part of implementing the base adapter, you use the new layout that you created in the first step for inflating the row items of the list view. You finally set this particular adapter to the list view. We shall see this in a quick demo. In the previous video, we had seen that array adapter was inflating array of strings in a perfectly normal manner. But when we tried to send it array of custom objects, it was not able to do so because we have to now implement a very custom adapter for this. If you observe the array adapter itself extends the base adapter. Now you can observe that for the list view I am setting a adapter and this adapter is not an array adapter it is something called as list adapter people because this is a custom class that I have created and what happens when you extend a base adapter is you override different methods like get count, get item, get item id and get view. The base adapter needs to know what it has to inflate. It needs to know the list of objects. So that is why the constructor receives list of objects and you also pass a context. You will come to know in a while why we would need this particular context in a base adapter implementation. So once we initialize the context and array of person, we will go on to implement different methods of the base adapter get count will return the array size get item will return the object that is person object from the people that we have item id you can just return value of i here the main implementation here is get view get view is the method which returns individual row item in the list view so for that we need to have a custom view as well if you observe here there is a layout file called as layout underscore person underscore Score row item and this is how the preview would look like you have a text view which shows name and another text view which shows the last name this particular text view will show the nationality and this text view will show the gender this is a individual row item that i need to inflate in the list adapter so for better readability i will split the screen here and now if you go back to the list adapter people which is the implementation of base adapter you will observe what we are doing here first we are getting hold of the layout inflator because we would need this to inflate this particular view so how to get hold of a layout inflator is layout inflator dot from context and that is why we had passed the context in the constructor of the least adapter people then we get hold of the person individual object that needs to be rendered in this particular view we can do that by index that we receive in the get view and we pass that particular index and that will give us the individual person that needs to be inflated in this particular view you can observe that now we are initializing the view here layout inflator inflate and then layout that we need to inflate the second argument is parent which is null and then x name dot set text this is something you should have been already familiar with i am just taking hold of individual text views and then setting the name last name gender and even nationality i am returning the view and just for the explanation purpose i am logging view that is getting inflated so let me run this you can observe that for list adapter filter there are six items from the index zero to six that are getting displayed here and then as i scroll it keeps on rendering new set of items so there are basically around 14 items in our list view so that is why you see the indexing of 0 to 13 and as i scroll back once again depending upon the which index that needs to be rendered it will create a new view and inflate that particular view again and again it looks perfectly fine but there is a problem with this particular implementation for better understanding let me copy this and paste it in a text edit this is the hash code of the individual view that is getting inflated if you see this there is only one existence of that particular view that got inflated in the same way you can check out for 
other views so each and every time i am scrolling new view is getting rendered as you keep doing this too many views are getting inflated again and again you can observe that in in the locket every time i do this scrolling new views are getting created this will ultimately slow down your application because you are already having too many views some of them are visible and some of them are not visible but regardless of that these views are there in the memory and this is just going to bloat up applications memory and your application performance will reduce so this is not the correct way of implementing base adapter you have to solve this particular problem so that these views don't get unnecessarily created there is a way to solve this particular problem we shall see that in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye